So you have your video podcast ready to go and you want to be able to convert that video into audio only to be able to get your podcast out where people can listen to it also. Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can convert your video into audio on both your desktop and your phone. So keep watching. You got to just press record. This video is in partnership with Buzzsprout, the company that we use for our podcast. And I love them so much because they help make podcasting easy. Now, if you're anything like me, time is very limited. You maybe are running your YouTube channel, running a business. And so you need something that is easy to use. And Buzzsprout allows you to be able to post your podcast and distribute it to all of the places that people can listen to it on. Hey, what's up? It's Heather here from Think Media. And on this channel, we do tech gear reviews, YouTube tips, and walkthrough tutorials just like this. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now I have been walking you through an entire series here on Think Media on how to podcast. We started with the basics of podcasting. We went into should you choose audio, video, or both. And then we walked through some of the steps of how to create that podcast. And this video is in partnership with our buddies over at Buzzsprout. I'll tell you more about them in the future of this video, but let's go to jump into how to convert that video file into an audio file. Now I'm going to be using iMovie on my Mac, but if you're using Using maybe DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or Premiere Pro, you can use these same principles to be able to execute the same thing. So I'll walk you through on my desktop. Let's dive in. All right. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your video file. Now I've already pre-recorded a video for this example, and I'm going to be doing my homeschool channel, just like I've been doing throughout this entire series. So you want to make sure you already have that video file ready to go. So tip number one is actually to make sure that you have your video ready to go. So I have already walked through. If you want to learn how to do this on your phone in a previous video to help you learn how to do a video podcast, or I'll link down below other other examples we have here on Think Media on video podcasting. But let's jump into where we are in this step. So I have my iMovie open right now and I'm going to hit import media. That's going to bring up my ability to go and get my actual video. I'm going to open this one, import this select video. Now I have the file here. I'm going to pull it down and a couple tips you want to know when it comes to audio specifically. Now, when it comes to audio, you want to make sure that you're looking at your audio levels. And you can actually see that here on iMovie when I move this little line up and down. These are the audio levels. You want to make sure you're between negative six and negative 12 dB. Now, see how it goes yellow there? That is not good. So I want to keep it underneath that line because what it means when it goes above that line is that your audio is too hot. You're peaking. It, it doesn't sound right. So you, it can be hard to listen to because it gets too loud. If you ever had that happen, it gets too loud. This is what that means. So you just want to make sure that you are editing the audio pieces of your file. Now, if you're an iMovie and say you need to go through and edit an audio piece that is too loud. See how this is yellow right here. I would click on here and I would just go ahead and separate this and I would get into here and I would separate this. And I would go and I would adjust those levels because I want to make sure that the audio is actually below. See, it gives me the percentage. I want to make sure the audio is below that line. There we go. So all the way below that line. Now, if you're in another editing software that gives you a little bit more capability to actually adjust the decibels in there, maybe once you strip this, you want to take it into a garage band or another uh, audio editing software you could, but that's not going to be covered in this tutorial. I'll do that in a future one for you. Okay. So now that we have this uh, file ready to go, I've got my video and I just want to upload. I just want to download the audio. I'm going to click up at the top. I'm going to click file. And then here it's going to give me the name. It's going to give me the file. And I have the option here where it says video and audio. That's if I wanted to download it as a video, but I don't, I want to download it as audio only. So I'm going to do audio only. I'm going to hit next. And now it's going, oh, let me go back and you have different options. You can do an MP3, which will just give you direct to audio hit next. It's going to save your file for you. And then you're just waiting for it to save. Okay. And now you actually have an audio file. You have an MP3 and that's what we're going to actually use to upload into our hosting site. Now the hosting site that, you know, we love and use here at think media is buzzsprout. 
I love Buzzsprout because they are a simple and easy one-stop shop for where to go if you are hosting your podcast. It connects to all major podcast distribution, makes it super easy to upload and distribute. And I love that they give you these extra features that I'm gonna be showing you in this tutorial. So if you've not already signed up for Buzzsprout, you can click the link below and get the best deal possible if you wanna upgrade from the free version. So we're gonna log into our Buzzsprout here and you'll notice I have my homeschool house here. We just did an episode on how to make that cover art. So if you want to learn how to make that artwork, I will make sure to link that down below as well. But I'm going to go ahead and go into my downloads because that's where my MP3 is. Grab that MP3 and I'm going to make it super easy and it uploads right to Buzzsprout. I would then change my episode here. And then I would save these details. Now, save the details is what I'm gonna do. Now, one of the upgrades you can make if you don't want to necessarily edit the audio pieces yourself, like I was doing inside of iMovie, is Magic Mastering. This is an upgrade that is inside of Buzzsprout where they basically do the editing for you when it comes to leveling out and making your audio sound better. This is something you can upgrade to and it'll help to uh, advance your audio. This feature allows that maybe you have two different people inside of a podcast and one's louder than the other. It will actually even out that audio for you. It does what's called true peak tracking where it'll see where your levels are going up and down and it'll help to smooth that out. And lastly, it'll take out some of those hums and hissing noises that can happen when you're recording audio. So this is just an upgraded feature if you want to send it to Buzzsprout and have them edit your audio inside of their software. Another feature that I love inside of Buzzsprout once you've uploaded your audio is you can actually create a audio soundbite right inside of Buzzsprout that you can then share on social media. So if you've got your video podcast, of course you're sharing that on YouTube and maybe you've downloaded bits of that to make micro content, but right inside of this software, you're able to create those visual audio sound bites to use on social media. Now, if you are creating your podcast on your phone, I'm gonna quickly walk through just a couple simple steps to make sure that you can move that video file into an audio file. Okay, so the first step on your phone is you want to make sure that you have saved your actual video into the right file. So I'm gonna go to the video, I'm gonna hit save, and I'm actually going to hit where I say, I want to save it in my file. So scroll down and it says, save to files. I'm gonna save it into my downloads. I'm gonna hit save. Um, I already have one there, so I it, I already have this video there because I was going through this, but it's now saved in my files. Now you're going to go into your video converter. So you're gonna go into your file converter. You wanna download file converter and make sure you have that from the app store. And I'm going to hit MP3. I'm gonna grab my file by clicking on files, clicking on the video that I want. It'll upload that and it says, I wanna change an MP4 to an MP3. I'm gonna start the conversion and There we go. And now I can just save that audio file right to my phone and be able to upload it onto the Buzzsprout site directly from my phone. Now here's the key. If you're doing anything on your smartphone, you need to make sure that you have enough storage. You're doing videos, you're recording videos, and then you're also doing audio. So just make sure that you have enough storage available on your phone, either on your actual phone or that you upgrade and you get the iCloud storage. That way you can make sure that you have enough room to handle all of these things on your phone. Now, if you have other podcasting questions about starting a podcast or any of the steps included in making that happen, let me know down in the comment section below. I wanna make sure that I'm making videos that you wanna see in this entire podcasting series. And if you've not watched the first video in this series, I definitely recommend clicking or tapping the screen right now so you can go over and watch that first video in the series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.